Fraser Island. Well, we're nearly there. We're 10 minutes from Inskip Point. So we're all hoping that we don't end up on that uh, I got bogged at Inskip Point page. So that'll be interesting. And but, the um, dingoes. And the dingoes. So we're fully loaded. We've got the van on the back. We're in the 200 series. All the squids. And uh, we've got Sarah's mum and dad, Steve and Maggie, behind us in our Ranger. And then behind them, we've got a good mate of ours, Marty, and his two boys. He's he's in a pretty crap sort of rig. It's only a Dodge Ram with a nice big brand new Jayco on the back. So good. But um, yeah, so it's our first time here. I've never been to Fraser. I think Marty's the only one that's been to Fraser. I'm scared. Kids are scared because of dingoes. Um, I'm not. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get here, gonna let our tires down. I get to try out my birthday present. Sarah bought me a set of six. No, I did. Oh yeah, Sarah and Axel bought me a set of six Storm uh, brass tire deflators. So we set them yesterday. Again, 15 on the front of the car, 18 on the back of the car, and 15 on the van all around. It's pretty busy up here. Yesterday was chaos apparently. Today is a bit less busy, but we had about a thousand cars just past us then. So yep. we're up here for a week. The weather looks good the first two days and then it looks like it turns pretty sour. Um, there's a bit of a, a low pressure system coming down. Looks like it pretty much crosses on the northern tip of Fraser Island. So we'll see how we go. Bad weather just follows us. Where Bad we weather go? loves us, but it's blowing southeast. So we'll go on the western side of the island when that happens. We've got crab pots. We've got a little secret advice to little beaches that not many people know about from mates and we got fishing rods and all sorts of stuff so we'll keep we'll keep good stay tuned for all the funny stuff stupid stuff and bad weather and everything to happen because um with this lot it's bound it's to be always a bit. an adventure with it's always Bowie. an adventure <laughs> see is at the uh see is when i'm digging out the tires at inskip <laughs> these things are awesome preset i preset them 18 on the back, so I just wrote it on there. 15 on the other. Look, I'm just, yeah, you can come through one of these on. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get bogged at Inskip. Are you a bit nervous? Are you a bit nervous? You're gonna have a beer. There she is. That's where the barge pulls over to. There's two running today. The lady at the uh, permit place said that it's not too busy. Yesterday and the day before were hectic, so Boxing Day the craziest. Can't wait to get over there. That was so much quicker. Usually, you're seeing in the other Double Island run, we're out here for like 15 minutes letting them all down. It's like three minutes done. We just got two more to do on the back because it's a set of six. And we got eight tyres to do. So once the two front 15 pound ones are on, we put them on the back of the caravan and then it's all done. So pretty much done. We're on the road within not even five minutes. What do you reckon? You do. Marty, say something cool. You're on on the camera to the world here, mate. Hey. <laughs> Sit on. 23. What'd you have him set to? Uh, four. Good stuff.
Yeah, Marty. I know. So that was apparently one of the worst that a fella that was there has seen that track. <laughs> I'm stoked with how this went. Marty almost got blocked off and had to jump all the tracks in that ram and just mm. tow that massive Jayco like it was nothing. He wasn't waiting for no one. He right? wasn't waiting. Here we go. Look at this. Straight up. First on. How's that? We didn't get bogged. We didn't get bogged and in skid. <laughs> Not yet anyway. Still gonna get out. Season veteran of that, aren't you? Welcome my boy. <laughs> There's a wide bay bar. Fish in paradise out there. Hey, are they pugs? No, they're Frenchies. They're French bulldogs. Yeah. Still in her pajamas. Fraser Island. First time. Fraser Pile. Fraser Pile. Young fella fishing here. Good, good little spot to put up. Esky, you know, I saw your esky on there. Yeah, please put the esky. Pull it yeah, off. I wonder who designed that. This, this oh, Fab Tech guy. Fab Tech fella done it all. Let's get out of line. around Hook Point which is just up here and just to the right of me here we got Wide Bay Bar so I've fished all around Fraser many many times I've never actually been on Fraser except for over the other side for fishing comps and we get off to have a beer but been through this bar a few times and it is a crazy crazy bar it can be just glass and nothing but it doesn't take much and this bar gets out of control about 1.2 kilometers or 1.4 kilometers long so on an outgoing tide when you get those shingles through the bar you got 1.2 kilometers of crap and like with a bit of onshore wind or anything with that it is can be a very very painful 1.4 kilometers so this is a good bar to try and time with an incoming tide but anyway oh look there's our favorite place over there hey. double island rainbow straight across I said when we're camping over there we always point across to Fraser and say yeah. can't wait to get over there and finally we're here yeah all right so up ahead we got Hook Point and they called it Hook Point because um, Captain Cook uh, <laughs> no I have no idea why they called oh, it oh man I'm <laughs> actually like wow you're smart no yeah okay I can make up the story mm. So they were hanging for a couple of rumbos, old Captain Cook and the crew. And uh, they were out to sea, tied against current. They thought, geez, we really feel like getting pissed at the moment. So what they did is... They hooked it in. They hooked it into this point here as quick as they could yeah. to get onto the rumbos. But, and uh, what actually happened was Captain Hook had a few 
of his favourite dogs from overseas. A nice, white, tanned, placid sort of dog. And they come in and they were going to swap these dogs for some Rumbos. Turns out they were dingoes. That's how dingoes were introduced to Fraser Island. After Captain Hook hooked it in here to get some Rumbos. Oh, that's bad. And swap it for some dingoes. You need to listen in history class for way more than that. That was total BS. But anyway, oh, this looks interesting. Marty, Six point so ten. tired all in the back of these dunes, he's got, what's his, 21? Hmm. He's got a 21 foot Jayco Expander and a Ram, so it's like she ain't 35 sure. metres of <laughs> <laughs> trying to turn stuff around. Does so well. We change spots now, this is going to be really good, we're going to be able to reverse in and face each other. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. that um, escalated illegal campfires on Fraser. Burnt more than 50% of the island. All right, Eli Creek. Who's going up? It is packed. There's heaps of people. How are you, mate? This is a cracking little spot. And I learnt last night that apparently, and I don't know if it's true, I'm just going off what I heard, but 80 million litres of fresh water per day runs out of this creek. Have a look at it. We're bringing tubes it's almost like wet and wild with free admission <laughs> it's safe for the kids nice boardwalk to go up you just don't want to go on here do you <laughs> the <X -Men. laughs> yeah how good is this? Woohoo! That hits. <laughs> it gets you right where it hurts, I reckon. 
Oh man, you're gonna get a snaggy. Hey! <laughs> Dad, can you take, can you get my hat? Why are you like Fred so hold us there? charging through. Oh, that's cold on the nuggets. You love it. Shits and giggles, we're gonna race the ram. On your, on your mark, get set, go! There <laughs> So he was just spinning. Ready, set, go! He wasn't spinning that time. <laughs> Marty, say something cool. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my God. We're trying to catch the There's this camping spot we found. Reverse Marty's Jayco in. And then ours right beside it. Put both awnings out. It's awesome. Steve and Maggie hiding just over here. We'll go over and see them. And instead of a fire, because you're not allowed them, we got some yellow uh, solar lights and we just wrapped them around a heap of timber so it looks like a fire. Look at this. Here's our ranger, Steve and Maggie. They're taking good care of it. How good's this camp? Yeah, hey. 
<laughs> Watch the vines on the ground because she tripped over Get Mum to tell you what happened when she we're jumped out of the car. We're away from the neighbours, so I'm pretty sure we're going to sleep pretty well tonight. So, yep. You don't want to be near that lot over there, no, I can I tell you that much. Uh, oh. that. Mum, what happened when you jumped out of the car, Mags? Yep. What happened? Uh, when I got out of the car, I tripped over a vine on the ground. <laughs> Did you, go, did you go? Did you go hard up? <laughs> I didn't do that. Yeah, watch out for those vines. <laughs> yeah, I already yeah. yeah. See yeah. these vines on the ground here? Yep. Yeah. Morning wanna, glory. You, you might want to watch them. Yeah. Morning glory. There are two morning glory around here in the morning when you get up. That's because you get me hard on your face. <laughs> we found our little. Don't even need away. the awning. We found our little. Heaps of, of shade. shade. Look at that. Easy does it. Yeah. I don't know about that shitter when that southeasterly starts blowing, but. Who uses it? <laughs> Go that way, mate. Go that way. Through the bush, mate. Oh, there it Go is in there. Way, in there. Drop it like that, mate. <laughs> what is it? Drop it like what? Go that way, mate. Pull it down. Get around it like that, mate. There you go. <laughs> How good's this? In the brand new Jayco's, they got this little side door here. Pull it out. So, it's a double bunk area. Then also, this bunk just folds straight up and it's a massive big area where you can store everything. Bikes, canoes, everything. Beer. <laughs> Pull all your stuff out, fold the bed down, there you go. There's another bunk straight up there. And this is actually Marty's old van. These are both your vans, mate. <laughs> we bought this one off Marty, and it's got the extended drawbar and the big toolbox. Another area you can uh, strap down a fridge and esky and stuff like that. And then you come along here. It was that handy, apparently. <laughs> he got the same one again, same setup. So that is awesome. And after having it, the amount of stuff you can fit in that front toolbox is awesome. Let's go see what's cooking. What's cooking, love. Um. Well, that's it for tonight. Cue the cranky kids because we have Cue no the cranky sauce. kids, yeah, no tomato sauce, so it's gonna hit the fan real quick. That's all the filming. Time to have a few beers, relax, and tomorrow, Lake Mackenzie. Alright, day two. That tide is right up. The weather's cloudy, and this is the start of this uh low pressure system coming over the next few days, so it's gonna be interesting. Kids are out playing in the surf. Soaking wet. Yes, right, <laughs> All right, so our plan for the day today is Lake Mackenzie. Hoping this sun comes out so it shines nice and bright blue, but don't know what's gonna happen. Anyway, we're gonna head in there because the next few days are raining. If I can drag this kid out of the surf. Hey, coming. <laughs> Woo! All right, we're on the uh, inland track to Kingfisher Bay at Cornwells. So that's that takes you through to Lake Mackenzie, apparently. It's our first time through here. Super bumpy. On the ranger, on our range arm, it was sagging in the bum a fair bit because carrying all that weight all the time. So I took it to a local Leaf Spring fella at home, Bayside Springs, and um, it cost me a hundred bucks and he reset the springs and it's like total different car so it's literally if it was like that if it was like what it was through here oh i would have been actually nervous but um steve said it's riding awesome so quite bumpy no sign of the fires yet there was up north oh here comes another car so we're going through here the area it's called the Valley of Giants and I'm guessing that pretty obviously it's because of the huge trees that are in here. I'll try. It's 
just too many to bloody point one out. But so glad the fires didn't come through here. Yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. So that's another thing. We're really starting to notice how much we say it is what it is, and one hundred percent. So now whenever Sarah says, "Oh, one hundred percent," I'll go, it "Is what it is." <laughs> So, obviously, the fire didn't really make it across the road. Lake Mackenzie. There is people everywhere. We actually were lucky to snag this park. Steve and Maggie and um, Marty are still driving around trying to find one. We got the boogie boards. Oh, oh wow. the way to Lake Mackenzie we are uh, we went the Cornwells Road exit which is uh, up off zone 2 and it was a fair way hey yep. it took ages so we tried a different way on the way home and we went from Lake Mackenzie through Yurong and it was definitely quicker maybe what do you reckon half an hour yeah yeah about, about that. half an hour from Lake Mackenzie to get to the beach it's a bit further run up the beach but it's a lot better driving up the beach on a low tide than uh, that those inland tracks. So for anyone coming up and around, you know, zone one to four or even five, I'd go down to Yurong, up through Yurong and that way to Lake Mackenzie. So um, yeah, because only I was wondering the same thing. I'm actually wondering what's the quickest way to get from here up to Watumba and uh, chuck some crab pots and stuff out because it's a long way but I'm pretty bloody keen to put some pots out. What's Marty doing? cooking dinner, trying to keep the kids occupied. That's proven to be pretty difficult. All they want to do is come over to the beach and all we want to do is just chill out and have a beer at the moment. It's been a big day. Lake Mackenzie was awesome. The drive is 
fair hike, but it's worth it. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, we'll get a bit of uh, weather come in, looking at the charts and the rain chart. So looks like tomorrow, Arvo, tomorrow night, and most of Thursday is going to be pretty crap. We might, if that happens, we're going to uh, go right up to Sandy Cape, right up to the northern tip of Fraser Island, have a look at the Brake Sea Spit, been through there a few times, and. Um, that's what tomorrow might do. So hopefully in the Gala Rocks and all that's open. It was closed. That's going to be about it for today. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of cooking. We've got a roast chook on. And Steve yeah. and Maggie got the blue bone we caught at home cooking. So yeah, anyway. And subscribe and, um, subscribe and drop a like. <laughs> that was me. Look at your hair, young lady. <laughs> oh, here we go. Look, yeah, cop that, mate. Cop that. You got nothing. You got nothing. Oh, God, this is going to get bad. Oh. <laughs> Bye. If you enjoyed this episode and are keen to see more, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel and check us out on Facebook and Instagram.